So here we have a new 15.6 inch 4K laptop here at HP. Yeah, this is our Spectre X360 15 inch uh, laptop. And when I say X360, what that means is the display rotates 360 degrees. You can use it as a laptop. I can flip it over and use it as a display. I can turn it into what we call tent mode. And the cool thing about tent mode is it's very stable for anything touch-based. So if you've got a touch-based game or application on it, that's fantastic in tent mode. Very bright display, right? Yeah. It's an over 300 nit display. The 4K display right there. Uh, you can get 4K experience in the airplane. Yeah. I can close it down into a tablet mode. Now, but the really interesting thing about the, this machine and our launch at CES is it's using the new Intel Cabby Lake G processor. And what that means is they've got a 45 watt Intel Core i7 CPU and AMD Radeon Vega graphics on the same on the same module on the same SOC. Yeah. So it's an AMD GPU with Intel. AMD graphics Intel CPU together. So you and can actually play games with this? You can you could do medium level games on it. The the Radeon CPU or the Radeon graphics seems to be similar in level to a uh, Nvidia uh, 1050. So play games on it. But the really great thing I think about it is when you're doing content creation. So if I'm doing if I'm doing video editing or something like that, when I'm doing the video editing, I've got a great user interface. When I'm rendering it, those graphics cores get involved in the rendering. It goes really fast. So it's hardware accelerating. Your 4K video editing on a laptop with a 15.6 inch 4K display, yep. which is great for all these content creators like me. I'm doing 4K exactly. videos. Exactly, yes. So you can run Adobe Premiere, it's going to be smooth. Yeah. And it's not going to be heat. And let me show you something else it has. It has an SD card slot. It seems to me one of our competitors forgot the SD card slot in their yeah. machines. Right. So take your camera media, plug it in, yeah. edit your video. Has a We've also got a USB Type-A port. USB 3.1? Yes. We've got two Type-C ports, including Thunderbolt, and we've got a real HDMI port. What's hidden in here? That is a fingerprint reader. All right. So you can use Windows Hello on this with either the fingerprint reader or with an IR camera. And the fingerprint reader is on the side, which seems almost awkward initially, but by, by having it on the side, I can use it in notebook mode. I can use it in display mode. Nice. I can even use it in tablet mode. Nice. So putting it on the side means it's always usable. And uh, what's the travel and uh, what's the quality of the it's keyboard? It's one and a half millimeters of keyboard travel. And we really tune that force curve carefully to make sure that when you're typing, you get a great typing experience. And the mouse is a, we do these wise mouse pads. Is that the best size? Yeah, we, we do a lot of user interface research with our, our um, design team. And they've, they've worked on figuring out what's the right width for a trackpad. And what's the, the other sound? Thing, is it Bang & Olufsen? It's Bang & Olufsen audio and HP speakers. And that means we work with Bang & Olufsen to tune our audio. So they've got some pretty strict requirements on how the audio curve is supposed to look. Very flat. They help us tune it to make our, make our audio sound as, as good as it possibly can. So this is premium. Is it very expensive? How the Spectre is, is our premium line. This is going to go on the market in this spring, and it'll start at thirteen sixty nine. That's not too. I was thinking two thousand, but that's not the four K version, right? That well, no, it is a four K version. This 13, is a, this is a hundred percent four K. So thirteen sixty nine is a four K. Is a four K display, yes. And with eight gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, either eight or sixteen gigabytes of RAM. You can go all the way up to two terabytes of SSD storage. 